this is the Distress It All. And I have 16 pieces of the really thick artistic paper here. It fits in the channel. If it fits in the channel, then you can do it. I personally, I'll show you what it looks like and it's got a kick. So when you're holding a whole lot of papers like this, you have to be wary. Inside, that wheel is gonna turn to the right. So if you go with the wheel, and don't start in the center, you wanna start off the edge and then come across. Okay. But if you go with the wheel, it's a way. lot, it's gonna be a lot easier than going against. So here we go. Okay, so because I had so many, I mean, you get it, and it gets that, that distressed look. But because I had so many, it was a little bit hard to do. You can do it, that was super fast, and you have distressed edges on on 16 pieces of paper. See, I like that, I like just that subtle. That subtle look, yeah. So this, right. it's great and fast, and I mean, that works great. But, personally, I really like it when it's... chunked up like that. That oh, is only that. three pieces of paper. That's amazing. It looks so much thicker. It really does. It makes your projects look substantial. This is one sheet of paper just cut in the dream cuts into four by four pieces. That could be a little teeny... Yeah, you've um, got a mini album. Yeah, it's a mini that. album. It's a little mini album out of one piece of paper. Frugal, frugal, frugal scrappy. Love this. Um, this is 24 pieces of my, um, just my different pattern papers that I created. Okay, just 24 blocks. 24. And so it was able to do that, because it fit. It fit into the thing. Nice. But, again, I, if you're going to do it, you can, I mean, it can do that. I don't think it's the very best use of it. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do five sheets. And you can get that same look with five sheets. That was a whole lot easier. You get that same look. So you can do it, but it's probably better if you keep it to four or five sheets. And, and see how fast it is. I'll tell you what I love about having that distressed edge is a lot of people like to ink their edges to mm -hmm. define it. I like the highlights. Yeah. So when you take pattern paper and you distress it like that, you've got that highlight, that border, yes. but not the dark color. Right, You've right. accented it, but very subtly. So you that know, was going in the direction with the wheel. Okay. Okay, going again. And that's what you get. Going against. Going now, against. here's a tip. Once you've done that, it's all like got the same ridges and stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks really cute if you go through and change the order up and add in different things and maybe like flip it around even because then it doesn't look like it's all the same. So okay. it, it adds a little bit better dimension when it's not every page the same. So take a sheet, flip it around the other direction. Flip it around. Do Yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, flip it this way. It's going to change the design. So, mm -hmm. I mean, just if you set them out the in the you know flipping the the order of them when you're distressing then that will help with that and then this is what i forgot on my video <laughs> this i absolutely love because when i would hand distress i would end up with this all over my lap oh so it's got the little trap on the bottom and it catches all of the little fuzz so all you have to do is just dump it out and then keep on going Love that. That's one thing I loved about the bind it all. It's got the little trap it's in got there. Got the little trap in. I didn't discover that trap for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> when it wouldn't work anymore. <laughs> when it wouldn't work anymore. But I love that. So they put that on here too. Yes. Fantastic. And um, you can, you don't have to keep this on the desk. I prefer it on the desk for desktop use. Mm -hmm. But you can hold it in your hand. Say you have a book that's already bound. Mm -hmm. You know, and you want to do the edge. As soon as you let go of that button, it'll stop. Okay. So you can do it holding it in your hand. However, this little trap doesn't have much use oh. <laughs> when using it in your hand. It no. does end up all over the place. That's a nice safety feature. Yes, yeah. So if something gets caught, and that is the one thing that, I mean, I've used this on wood, on cardboard, but um, this is the cardboard that Zutter did for me. And um, 
it's distressed. pretty thick. Pretty thick cardboard, but it just, it goes through like magic. I mean, it's it's so easy. I've even done it on wood. In fact, this is for another video too, but I'll go ahead and I'll show the edge to you anyway. But this is the stamp album from Zetter with one of their canvas board um, covers. And I was able to distress this edge. So it makes it look kind of like a, you know, washed, beachy kind of yeah. a look with the little strings hanging down. This would be as far as I would go as far as something that has string in it. I tried it on denim and I highly suggest that you do not do that. No denim, no material, no cloth, anything with string because it will get wound up in the wheel okay. and it will make your machine stop working. Okay. Zetter asked me to break the first one, see what I could do, and that was the only thing that made it stop working. <laughs> Which makes sense. You don't yeah. want strings around. No, you don't want strings in it. But it will go through wood. It will go through pretty much anything that you can fit in there. I don't know about metal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just so use, use your best judgment. But, um, yeah, it's a really, really fun tool. Um, then something that I was able to do with this was to make this album. This was the make and take that we did at CHA. Love it. Everybody did not decorate the cover. They just actually created the album and bound it. And it's got all of the, every single thing in this book is pretty much distressed with the distressor. All the edges there. Mm -hmm. And so what's great is if you, if you're, when you're adding pattern paper to the chipboard, you don't have to worry about precisely yeah, cutting right, it. Right, right. Because you're just going to distress it all. That's so. right. That's right. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email me at Donna at DonnaSalazar.com. Bye. Bye. I was waiting for the sale. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it again? No, no, no. Okay. Bye.